Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for February 21st through the 27th, 2021. I hope you're all doing well. I do want to take a second and remind you that this is a general reading, therefore it may not resonate with everyone. If you find it's not resonating with you, check your other signs and placements and see if those readings do resonate a little bit better. Um, in addition to that, keep in mind that energy is fluid and therefore timelines may vary and roles can reverse. And um, so if that happens to you, go ahead and place yourself in the reading where you belong, but only if it is resonating. Simply take what resonates for you and leave the rest for someone else, okay? Um, also, if you would, let's go ahead and make sure that you have a question at the end of the reading because I got a very positive response. I had several emails regarding the Angel Answers um, oracles, and um, you guys seem to really enjoy that, so I'm going to bring that back for this week. Um, so get an answer, and at the end of the reading, or an answer, get a question, and at the end of the reading, um, we'll see if we can get an answer for your question, okay? So let's get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Libra, please? All right. So Libra, we have the High Priestess in reverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. And we have the devil. Okay, so I do feel like there's something here that you may have had some realizations about, Libra, um, about something that's not working out very well for you. You may even feel like it's a very toxic situation. Um, for some of you, it's not even so much about toxicity as it is about, you know, that you are just um, powerfully drawn to someone or something and you just feel like you cannot really escape it for some reason. Um, and I do feel like you are trying to seek balance in that situation. But because it's not really working out well for you at this time. But, you know, it's almost like you feel so powerfully drawn to this. Um, and you've had some realizations about it. But I, I also think that, you know, you there's a it's a process for you. You're not, you're not quite there with this. For others of you, you're just having some realizations about some things in your life that are quite toxic and, you know, the need to kind of release those because they're not really, you know, working out in your life. Let's look at who you're dealing with and um, see if we can get their energy. That was fairly fast. All right, so we have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. We have the judgment in reverse, and we have the nine of swords. Oh, my. Okay, um, very heavy energy here, Libra. This looks like a long-term connection that um, is ending, or it may be possibly just a cycle within a connection, but it looks like a connection with this ten of cups in the reverse. So it looks like something's ending here. Now, um, whatever this is, I, I feel as if this person is very upset about it. Um, they feel as if there's no way of bringing this back around, as if there's no way of making this work again. Um, so the two of you are kind of sharing that energy here. You're, you're looking at something that you're realizing isn't working. They're looking at something and they feel as if there's no way of bringing life back into it. Um, but they seem very upset, very, very upset, like, you know, tears, um, sitting up all night, just extremely upset. Um, and it has to do with this ending here. So let's see what is the energy of the connection. Seven of Cups in the reverse and the Four of Wands. Yeah, it's definitely a connection that's ending because the Four of Wands is the stability within the home. But you're not confused about it. Uh, neither of you are, actually. Um, more so on your side. You don't feel any confusion about it. There's a realization that it needs to... There's something here that needs to end. Um, and I feel like you're pretty clear on it. Like I said, you've had some realizations. And you're feeling like it's somewhat toxic. So what is the, um, what is directly affecting this? This is tough energy. Okay, so we have the Hermit in reverse and we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, that's, this is what's directly affecting this connection. So 
With the Hermit in Reverse, I, again, I feel like you took a long time, Libra, to um, think about this, but there's a, a reconciliation that is taking place here as well. And whatever this reconciliation is, it was a situation with somebody that you were not in connection with. It's different from this person. That This reconciliation, you were not in contact with this person for a minute. You took some time apart in order to do some soul searching and you found answers. And it is this powerful attraction that you are unable to explain, Libra. So that's what's directly affecting this. So Libra, it looks as if you have a powerful attraction to someone that you have had a connection with in the past. And that connection, you're, you can't even explain it, but you are just powerfully drawn to that connection and at the same time, there is another connection that you realize is not working. And that's this person here that you're dealing with. And so this connection is ending. And it's ending because there's a comeback around with someone from your past. Let's see the um, outcome. Okay, so in the outcome, we have the moon in reverse. So again, more realizations, possibly some things coming out that were unknown, um, and we'll clarify that for sure to make to see what that is. I don't know if it's things that you're finding out, your person's finding out, you're revealing, possibly they're revealing, but definitely some realizations by the end of the week. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands, so this tells me that there is some conflict and possibly competition um, within this connection. So, yeah, there's a lot of conflict here. This is a heavy reading, Libra. Very heavy energy here. So, Spirit, can I have a clarification? Um, why do we have the High Priestess in reverse? Why do we have the High Priestess in reverse? Now, it's possible, Libra, that you have um, opened up about something here. Why is the High Priestess in reverse? Oh, wow. Okay, so we have the devil again. So that's repeating energy. And the ace of swords. Yeah, you opened up about something. So the ace of swords is all about truthful communication. And so, you know, the truthful communication has to do with this um, situation. It has to do with the toxicity. So I feel like there was there was a moment of truth here, Libra, that you, you opened up and you kind of you kind of communicated something here about the toxicity that you felt was in the connection and and you may have also opened up about the um, connection you have felt with another party. But there was some very um, honest, brutally honest communication here. And I do feel like um, that it was on your, your behalf. You, you opened up with this. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here in reverse? All right, so you have the Seven of Coins and you have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So, yeah, there was an investment here that um, I feel like you're not happy about. So the Queen of Swords in reverse would be your energy, Libra. And in the reverse, it's kind of known as the Bitch card. So this indicates to me that you're not really happy. You've been waiting. Um, you've been really waiting and continuing to invest in a situation and it's not working. And so whatever you've been investing in, it's not working. You're growing increasingly impatient about it um, and, and angry. Um, you're angry about having invested in it at this point because it's not working. And so I, I feel like that's why this you know, conversation came about. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? The world in reverse and 
the three of wands. Yeah, so, okay, so there's something here that's not ending. You feel like the toxic cycle here is not ending, and you're having to wait. You're having to wait to end this, and you don't like waiting because you want to move forward. There's something here you want to move forward, and you're, you're hoping to start something else. And I feel like you, you're you having to wait and you, you don't like it. You you feel like that's toxic. You're going to be communicating about that as well. So you really, Libra, you have this energy of wanting to move forward, not being content where you're at. You feel like it's a toxic relationship. You feel like you're, you're for some reason, you feel like you can't end the cycle. Um, and I'm not clear why, but you also are angry about it because you feel like you it's not working. You've invested in it, and there's a, a sense of anger. Um, so I'm not sure why you're not just ending the cycle, Libra. So let's see um, your person's energy. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, so you have the High Priestess in reverse. They have it in the upright. So we have the Two of Coins and we have the High Priestess. So Libra, um, I feel like your person is trying to find balance here, but I also think that they're deciding about, um, they're holding some kind of uh, information back as well. So there's something here that they're not, they're not telling you. There's something that they're keeping back. Um, with this high priestess because you have it in the reverse so you're you've had some realizations and you're you're opening up this person is not opening up and there is a sense of them trying to find balance they're trying to decide whether they're going to open up or not but and they're making a decision about whether or not they're going to end the connection as well but I don't think they're talking to you about it I don't think they're telling you so you may be feeling as if you can't end the connection for some reason. And if that's the case, Libra, the person you're dealing with is deciding if they're going to end it, if they haven't already. Um, but there's something that they're holding back, something that they're not opening up about. Why is judgment in reverse? All right, so we have the Three of Cups in the reverse, and we have the Six of Cups. So they're just not happy with, they consider you a soulmate, but they're not happy with you, and they don't really want to give this a second chance. So, yeah, there's a sense of being unhappy in the connection, and they just don't feel like it's going to work out. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? We have the Knight of Wands, and we have the Seven of Wands. So the reason they're so upset, Libra, is they think that you are a player. They're seeing you as a player, and you know they just don't want to fight for this connection anymore. It's like they're they're kind of giving up on this connection um, because they see you as being a player. They they, um, yeah, I think that they're aware that there is someone else has your attention. And so they don't feel as if there's a hope for the connection. They're unhappy in the connection. And if they haven't already told you, they are trying to decide whether or not they are going to stay in the connection. There is definitely something that they're not opening up to you about, though. Um, can I have three cards for the connection, please? Three cards for the connection. Okay, so we have the Strength card. We have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. And we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So, I do think that both parties in this connection are really trying to draw on their inner strength. It seems to me as if this connection is kind of falling apart. Um, I think, Libra, that you've kind of given up on this connection. I think your person has as well. I'm really unsure why the two of you are still connected. I, it doesn't make sense to me. 
Um, but the person that you're connecting with here, Libra, um, they have the five of pentacles. So they feel very abandoned by you. And uh, you've, you've kind of given up on the connection. And both of you are trying to be strong in the circumstances. But this is a connection that seems to be ending. Um, can I get three cards for what's affecting the connection? Okay. All right. So we have the chariot in reverse, the page of pentacles. We have the Two of Swords, and we have the Ace of Cups. So, like I told you, this, this energy that's affecting this is not connected to this person. It's connected to this connection. I feel as if, in the past, um, Libra, you may have held back. You did not offer this person. You may have wanted to, but you didn't offer this person um, anything tangible. This is a, another person. This is this is someone from your past, though. You've you've been in connection with this person before. This would be a third party, and in the past, you held back. You you um. You really went with them to to consider this connection. And I feel like you held back. You did not offer them anything. And part of the reason you didn't is because you felt like what you had to offer was too small. Um, I do think, though, that a decision is being made, um, if it hasn't already, to have a reunion with this person. And if you haven't, and I feel like you have, I feel like for most of you, there's been some kind of a reunion with this person. And it may just be friends. It may just be talking. But a decision is being made about whether to begin um, new love here with this person. And that is why this connection is breaking down. So, now in the outcome, we have the moon in reverse. Can I get three cards for that? Okay, so we have the King of Cups, we have the Emperor, both in reverse, and we have the Eight of Coins. So, what is going to be revealed is um, that the King of Cups in reverse, that both parties um, in this connection, this long-standing connection, have held back, are, are not really feeling the love in this connection. Um, so both, it's, it's, it's combined energy. So this is going to come out. There's going to be, because there's conflict right now. That's the underlying energy. There's conflict here. And by the end of the week, that's what's going to come out, that both parties have been holding back. Both parties have been um, not really showing love and, and, you know, demonstrating love in this connection. Um, and I feel like for, for you, Libra, um, you have the emperor energy in reverse. You're going to come across as being very controlling. So be careful with that. Um, the emperor in reverse can be kind of a controlling individual. Um, and the emperor also tends to run empires. He really doesn't have that much time for love. Um, the person that you're dealing with here is also equally devoted to work, but not very controlling. So I feel as if, um, both parties, what's going to be revealed at the end of the week is that both parties really kind of went their separate ways and devoted themselves to their work, their empire on, in, on your side, Libra, um, you know, building your legacy and for this person, build, you know, they devoted themselves to their work, to their job, um, and neither of you devoted yourself to the connection. I do think there will be a discussion about this if there hasn't already been. Um, and so the relationship suffered. As a result of this, there is somebody from your past, Libra, that you are either reunited with or are planning to reunite with. So that that's the looks of it. And then at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, which indicates to me that um, 
this is the married um, married queen in the deck. So it indicates to me that after a period of conflict, the spouse, um, there will be a, a breakup, a split from the spouse. Okay. So yeah, very heavy energy, Libra. All right, let's go ahead and get um, the question that you have in mind. I, I really wish I could just always give you guys happy readings. I Sometimes it's difficult because I can see and I can feel that heavy energy. And I would just love to give you just happy, peaceful readings. But I do have to give you what's on the, the table and, you know, what spirit wants to be said. And I, I have to tell you the truth. I can't just make things up. So... Um, let's go ahead and get your question and we'll get the um, angel oracles answers. So. Okay. Let's see what we have. Okay. Wow, that that could not be more clear. So I, I really hope you guys will drop me a comment on this because whatever your question was, if it was a yes or no, you definitely got no because you got no twice, not once, but twice. So no, no. And you also got wait. Okay, so you're being asked, whatever your question is, the answer is no. Okay, and if you had a follow-up to it, the question, the answer to that is no and wait. Okay, um, if you only had one question, it is a definitive no. Because you got two cards. I've never had that happen before. Two cards saying no. All right, Libra. Um, I, I do hope that the reading was helpful to you and provided you some clarity. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Um, also, if you could hit that like button, like and share, and drop me a comment for sure. I do read all of your comments, and until I see you next week, namaste.